So this is Noir. He's from the anime called I Parry Everything. Right now, this video is about Noir versus the top 20 best anime swordsmen. Thanks to no ability, every opponent he faces, he could face down to a draw. So which anime swordsman is most likely to beat Noir without having to face him to a draw? First, we're going to start off on the right side. We have Saber, Urza, Sasuke, Gintoki, Zoro, and Byakuya Kochiki. We all can agree that Saber Excalibur attack is very strong, but Nor is definitely going to be able to parry it. Urza, everything Urza throws at him, he is going to be able to parry. Gintoki, everything Gintoki throws at him, he is going to be able to parry. Same thing for Zoro. I'm sorry you're super overpowered Zoro, but he is going to be able to parry everything you throw at him. And now we're left with Sasuke and Byakuya. Sasuke, we could all say Sasuke is not really a swordsman, so that fight is going to end up in the draw. But if it comes to something else, something more, Sasuke will win just because of the Sharingan and the Brennigan and the Matsuratsu. Once you get caught with that, it's a wrap. So Sasuke do have the ability to beat Noor. And now Byakuya, the last on the right side. As a swordsman, he do have thousands of years of experience. But at the same time, thanks to Noor's skill parry, he will not be able to touch him. But with Bankai and Kiro, yeah, I see Byakuya beat a Noor. Now we move on to the midsection. It's Ichigo, Yakimaru, Law, Guts, and Levi. Ichigo will have a strong chance of winning, but if he never changes his battle tactics, I feel like it will end up in a draw. Yakimaru, this is easy. It will end up in a draw. He doesn't have a chance against Noor. Now we're left with Levi, Guts, and Law. No, no matter how fast Levi is on his feet, he is not going to be able to land a blow on Noor. And no matter how strong Guts is, and no matter how much endurance he has, he will not be able to lay a finger on Noor, thanks to that basic skill parry. Now we left with Law, and Law has the best chance of beating Noor. Not because he is a swordsman, just because he has a devil fruit power. So as a swordsman, that fight will end up as a freaking draw. But as a devil fruit user, he will be he will be nor easy. So we have Akami, Aroni Kenshin, and also Yami left in this picture. I'm sorry to Aroni Kenshin about Tosai the Manslayer, but you're not slaying no man when you fight a Noor. That battle's gonna lead to a freaking draw. Akami from Akami got killed is special. She do have a one hit kill. She touch you with her sword, you're dead. But with your reaction time and reaction speed, I don't think Akami is going to land the blow on him. So that fight is going to lead to a draw. Last but not least, Yami. To be honest, Yami's sword skills is up there. So it would be a draw 9 times out of 10. But I feel like with his special move he learned against the demon, Death Thrust, there's no way he's blocking that attack. So Noor, I apologize, but I feel like... Yami has the ability to beat Noor thanks to his death thrust. But hey, I did say that I was going to do 20 swordsmen, but there's only 14 swordsmen in this picture. So I'm going to end it off on that note. If y'all have any other swordsmen that come to your mind, just post it in the comment and maybe I'll do another video on Noor.